Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. Two minutes after 3.30 on this Wednesday. It's the 28th of July. I'm Austin Reed. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you're having a good week so far. My next guest joining us live in our Tower District studios here in the Mike Briggs building is Franklin Spees. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you, Austin. Good to be here. Hey, thanks for joining us. So we are talking about real estate investing, but more particular, uh, more particularly, we're, we're, we're going to focus on some new projects that, that you have uh, going on right now. So, um, but before we do, before we talk about that, tell us your background. You've been on Central Valley Talk before, but this is my first time interviewing you. I have. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to remember the topic that last time uh, that I was talking about. I, something related to real estate. Uh, I'm a local Fresno Clovis guy. Um, spent my, the majority of my career here. Um, I'm a real estate attorney, a real estate broker. Um, I do some of my own investing. I own a property management company here in town. And um, specifically, what I wanted to talk about today was um, real estate investment, but, uh, but a, a niche uh, space of that, which is real estate syndication. And really what a syndication is, is uh, an opportunity for folks like you and I to take a little portion of money and group it together uh, and buy a larger asset that you and I individually may not be able to purchase. And so it's a very simplified way of looking at it, but um, oftentimes, well, the way that these things are structured are uh, you'll find a large asset. Somebody will find a large asset, and we'll call that person the sponsor. And that sponsor will go out and say, hey, I want to lock up this property, and I know that I can make money, maybe over a short-term hold. Maybe they do a value-add improvement to the property, and then they go out and they raise money from folks that are just looking to invest. They don't want to have any active participation. They don't want to have any liability. They just want to invest in the property and they expect a return. And so um, I've actually done that about five times. This is my fifth one that I'm working on now. Huh. And, um, and it's, going, it's going pretty well. Uh, let's talk about Madeira. Yes. Um, so sort of backing up and leading up to Madeira, uh, these, these value add uh, Multi, uh, multiple, let's see, multifamily has is, is been my um, primary experience in real estate syndications and in the Central Valley. Like, this is my fifth one. The first three, I did one in Tulare, one in Visalia, and one in Kingsburg. Um, this was back in 2017. And really, the, the model there is you go out and you invest, say, uh, investors come in and they put a small portion down, group it together and you buy units at say $100,000 a door. Well then, once you've closed on the property, you put about twelve to $15,000 into each unit and you let the, the period run where you're raising rents over time and you've improved this property doing a multi-million dollar renovation in it. And then at year, say five, you sell it to probably an institutional investor who's looking at now sort of a turnkey property that's been renovated at a profit. So you bought it at 100, you put about 12 to 15 into it, and now it's worth about 175. So we did this three times in 2017 through 2020. Uh, and then the market in California has just gone crazy, you know, from property values to increased rents, um, still with low interest rates. And so it's very difficult to find this profile of property. So the last one we did, it was in October, and it was actually in Reno. Oh. The one I'd like to talk about today, just to sort of profile and give people a hands-on experience about specifically how this would work, is in the city of Madera. Now, Madera, as we know, is just across the river from Fresno. Uh, this is in the city of Madera formally, in the incorporated area. And this is uh, a, a slightly different property in that it's new construction and it's light, uh, light industrial multi-tenant. So right now, we've got a piece of property uh, under contract at 16 acres. And you can see on your screen there, we're proposing, and actually within the city right now, we're going to planning commission here shortly to have this approved, looking to break ground in August. Uh, but it is ultimately a, a, a piece of dirt where we are going to build 74 multi-tenant units wow. um, in these prefabricated metal warehouse uh, buildings. Huh. And uh, each tenant, we're talking about small businesses that are going to occupy these. This isn't like your Amazon um, or your you know, Ikea Supercenter or, or uh, major industrial warehouse. These are multiple tenants. So you've got contractors such as you know, your cabinet guy, your pest control guy, your pool guy, 
Um, you also have a lot of last mile uh, delivery services. You know, those white vans that you see running around yeah. with Amazon. Yeah. Um, these are the types of folks that are going to fill these up. And the demand in California in general for industrial real estate right now is less, less than 3% uh, vacancy, let's just say. Dang. And in Madera right now, it's less than 1%. And so we're really enthused about this. It's about a 30 month project. And um, again, we're just about to get underway and break some ground. This is going to be, is, is this right off the 99? It is right off the 99. So if, uh, basically Howard and Schnoor. This is okay. a property that's on Schnoor in an industrial area, but not a, not a seedy industrial area. There's a big regional family park across the street huh. and a fire station um, just across the street as well. So that's another thing is that Madera is really opening their arms to this project because they're looking for places for small business owners to um, have a place rather than you know, drive to an adjacent large city and then come back to where they are and service, you know, folks up and down the 99. There's a real need in Madera and along the uh, indust uh, the um, 99 corridor in sure. general. So sure. this is probably the flagship property of a series of them to come. So people that are watching today and they're thinking, hey, I want to help out. And in turn, they could make a lot of money. Um, they just reach out to you. They can. My, the best way to get a hold of me is probably on LinkedIn. Okay. You can find me, Franklin Spees. Um, I think I'm also under their uh, neighborhood REI. But uh, more importantly, whether you're interested in investing in a deal, this particular deal, mm -hmm. I think what I really wanted to do is, was um, sort of educate folks about alternatives from you know, investing in single family to multifamily with a small group of people as a joint venture to taking a small investment and pairing it with 30 other investors so you access an institutional grade uh, property, getting economies of scale and also getting the advantages of your prorated in interest, depreciation, the equity uh, and the leverage. So uh, it's a great opportunity. If anybody has any questions, they can feel free to reach out to me. I love real estate. I love talking about it. So uh, I look forward to it. Well, and it's so cool too because like I, you know, I have uh, I do TD Ameritrade, you know, yes. but um, when you kind of when you think of it, it's kind of like that. It is similar to that. Um, that's another thing. I'm glad you brought that up. Is that a lot of folks in this deal and other deals are actually using some retirement money that mm -hmm. they have, what's mm -hmm. called a self-directed IRA, um, and you can take your retirement and put it with a separate custodian, and then direct that investment into a real estate syndication, and you still get all the tax advantages and it's completely passive. And the likelihood, a lot of reason that people are doing it is that they can beat the returns of where they're invested. Um, they take control of that investment and put it in something with somebody that they can trust in a tangible asset. They can go out and kick the dirt and see the, yeah. the actual building. So yeah, we're seeing a lot of that. Um, do, is there, is this real estate syndication, do you see a lot of it outside the Fresno Metro? So Fresno being the fifth largest city, mm -hmm. you know, in the, in the state, um, I think in the valley, you do see a lot of it. Uh, you've got a lot of secondary markets okay. um, in the valley up and down. And, you know, fortunately or unfortunately in the past, as it relates to multifamily, we've seen a rocketing rent growth. I think yeah. LA Times a few months ago uh, reported that there was from 2017 to today, there was a 43% increase in rent. Now that creates a whole host of problems related to affordability and whatnot. But from a real estate investment standpoint, it has been a tremendous opportunity. But now, you know, you've got issues of rent control at the state with AB 1482 and some other legislation uh, that's come out. And so that can be discouraging related to investors going in and wanting to multi-million dollar renovate a property corresponding to raising the rents to account for that. Um, now people are actually looking out of the state. So we've got people leaving the state. You now you have investors that are not feeling comfortable investing in the state and they're looking outside. So, you know, everything goes in cycles, but that's sort of where we are at the moment. All right. Very good. Uh, connect with Franklin today. And just a heads up, uh, I don't know if you mentioned this a lot, but, you know, you're also an attorney and broker. Uh, that's right. Well. So that's um, right. I can any anything related to real estate. I can either help or I can resource you, and I just love talking about it anyway. It's fun to talk about, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it's always changing. That's right. So, All right, uh, connect with Franklin today uh, right here in the Fresno area. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it, Austin. Keep us posted. Will do. It's an exciting venture. Good luck in August. All right, I'm Austin Reed. You're watching Central Valley Talk. We're back with another live local guest coming up in just a bit. Don't go anywhere.